Hey everyone, so you would have received an email today from Skylim about the coming extension Noiseless AI. Release date on this extension is August 30th and pre-orders can be made as of today, August 16th until the 30th. What this extension does, it eliminates the artifacting or graining as caused by low light situations or even excessive manipulation to your image. I think this is a benefit, especially for people with lower end mirrorless or DSLRs that can't handle high ISOs. Personally, from my own experiences owning the M50, anything above ISO 2000, I'd say, the noise really starts to get noticeable. Not so much with the A7C, it does handle noise a lot better. But for cameras like the M50 or even older, this extension can be fairly useful. Now the press release also mentions that there'll be a total of seven extensions coming in September, October, and December. And the long awaited clone and stamp tool finally will be coming in September. I would imagine some of these extensions could be something like focus stacking, which has been highly requested. Another possibility is panoramics. Most softwares these days have that capabilities, so I suspect that would be one of them. But you tell me, what do you think the other extensions will be? Now, I'm not going to go over the pricing here, but I am going to leave it on the screen and a link to all the details. But there will be options for subscription models and also one-time payments. Personally, I think they're making the subscription model more attractive so that they can push lifetime users to the subscription model. And you really can't blame Skylin because it seems like every company is going towards that subscription model. Personally, I try to avoid them as much as possible. That's why I use Affinity Photo. But for a program like Canva, for, for example, where I use, I use it almost daily, worth a subscription for me. And the way Luminar is going with these new extensions and the, the updates that they keep bringing out, I do see the value of it, but I can also relate to those of you that may feel a bit uneasy about the whole subscription model. But that's why there's creators like myself to try it out and show you, is it worth your money? And of course, rest assured, I'm assuming that I'm going to get a beta version soon. And once I do, I'll be happy to show you how noiseless AI is going to work in Luminar Neo. As always, I'd love to hear your perspective and your feedback on what you think about this latest news. I can see both sides and all are valid points. Now, please keep it civil, but I'd definitely love to hear your thoughts. For now, until the next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.